Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Tangent Podcast, episode 115 for the week of May 15th, 2017. What? I'm your host, Brian Thomas, alongside my lovable co-host, who's, it's his birthday, May 15th, Justin Kane. Happy birthday. Hey, thanks, guys. Confetti. Welcome. Confetti. Confetti. Make it happen, Brian. Uh, the beacon of light, Anthony Salvatore. The bootless wonder, Gary Hines. What's up? And we're the podcast for the site pixelatedpoints.com where we talk about the games that we've been playing during the week Mahalo. and a little segment we like to call Under Your Thumb and then we take a quick break and come right back with the Drunken News game show. Um, but first, we're going to talk about our weeks because that's how we do it. Do we? I remember last week Gary got the shaft. Gary did get the shaft. What happened to Todd? Todd's not here. Unofficial mascot of the Tangent Podcast. He's just gone? No, he's downstairs. He's downstairs. He's still alive. He, Good. Lives, he lives downstairs. He yeah. does live downstairs. Yep. He pays rent. It's fine. But Gary, yeah, do we gotta do? It's been a, it's been a short week. So for those of you, it, we're recording on Wednesday. We usually record on Fridays. Um, just scheduling conflicts and stuff like that. So Gary, tell Got me about yourself. What you, what's been going on, man? Not I much, seen man. You in like four days. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. It's, it's been, been a while. Week. Uh, no work. Just working. Gonna be on a plane tomorrow. Where are you going? I'm going to Vegas. So <laughs> there might be one of those text messages. Like the remember the I'm Brian never text? coming home text. Oh messages? yeah, the oh. Brian text. <laughs> what was I the like that that nobody again? responded to? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I'm that lost one. in a mall and I can't figure. <laughs> I'm drunk and I'm lost in a mall. I figured you guys would like this. <laughs> I remember that. Nobody responded. <laughs> I'm sure you one. were just like, what? what? We all laughed. We're were like, you all together perfect. or no? I doubt no. It. no, no. I, I, I think we were all lost in a mall. Yeah. So I'm going to Vegas for the weekend bachelor party. It's gonna be be debaucherous. I'm going to feel like shit next Get week. Get crazy. Yep. Get so wild. by the time you're listening to this, I feel like shit. Nice. Yeah. So that's what's Match going on with me, look. Justin. Yeah. How was your week? It's fine. Pretty uneventful. Yeah. Yep. Celtics are still doing pretty well. Yep. Celtics are playing right now. They're winning. Mm-hmm. There you go. Game five. Game five. Game five. Okay. Perfect. All right. Perfect. God, Mike, you got anything back there? Nothing for me. All right, I got nothing either. Don't look at me. I know, I know you're you're trying to skip over me. It's fine, Gerald. Yeah. Well, you did something last week. Yeah, I done Bullshit. I done fucked up. Um, but anyways, we talk about video games on this podcast. Uh, last week I went last, so I get to choose who goes first this week. And to to remedy my issue, Gary, I'm gonna let you go first. I appreciate that. Hey, you're welcome. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, we played on a short week this week, so I've only got through one game, or I'm getting through a game, and that's Prey. So I picked up Prey last Friday. You had the day off, you son of a bitch, and got to play four hours week. maybe. Yeah, you played four hours. I'm only two hours in. And how am I further than you? Uh, I go slow. I'm a I'm a scaredy cat. I don't. That's really, very true. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I'm not a big fan of horror games. Well, the thing is that at the pace that you go, it makes it even scarier. I mean, if Gary, if you know Gary and I waited around to see what was happening, I'm we'd le- be scared. I'm <laughs> learning that that is that's. I'm just taking I'm taking the Anthony approach and fuck it. I want to see what's over there. Does the thing kill me? Yeah, yeah, it does. It kills you hard. And then you're like, well, at least now I know how it kills me. I can avoid that. Yeah, or it's not as scary just, once yeah. you know. And then you're just sneaking around and you're like, oh shit, what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? I'm just like, nah, fuck it. I'm gonna run into him and smash him with my wrench. See how that works. Yeah. So I w- I had the same issue as you with the controls. Um, when I was playing on the big screen yeah, TV downstairs, and it was really frustrating. Um, like, first-person shooter type game, like, the controls were just off. Like you Well, yeah, they're slow. It, and it, um, it, this is actually something that has been plaguing the PS4 version. I guess it's not really happening on, uh, happening on the Xbox One as, uh, or PC as much. But um, the control, you know, like, you'll, you'll move the control or the analog stick to the right, and it, it, there is a... a very clear delay. Yeah. But I'm sure with bigger screens, um, higher resolution things, with refresh rates and things like that, it's slowing it down even more. So I'm sure that the Xbox versions are having the same refresh rate issues, but mm-hmm. like the PS4 ones themselves are having a huge problem, especially with the PS4 Pros. Yep. There, It's like the delay, it almost feels like your character is underwater, mm-hmm. if that, that makes sense. Blows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or like I would feel like nothing worse than you feel like your character's not moving fast enough. Or like doing what you want yeah. them to be doing. Uh, yeah. yeah, so me. I was having that issue, and I fixed it by just, I went and got my PC monitor that I use for my PC, mm-hmm. and I've been playing on that, and I haven't had any issues. Um, so everything nice. was corrected. So I'm actually now enjoying the game. Um, and to your point, like in the beginning of the game, like you are taking it slow. Like there's all these mimics that are around. Like this could be a mimic. You don't mm-hmm. know. And you yeah. walk into a room and then all of a sudden it 
pops out and does that little like sound yep. and then whatever. Once you get through the first ten minutes of the game, I'm like, fuck that. Like mm-hmm. I don't give a shit. Like you're gonna pop out, you're not gonna kill me. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just gonna smack you in the head. So like I'm not scared of those things. Yeah. Um so I really just been running around for the most part, but I did upgrade my sneak abilities. So uh, now I'm like crouching, sneaking, and then the triggers uh, R1, R, uh, L, L1, R1. You can kind of because you never know when you're gonna yeah. need it, but you're always gonna want it. Yeah. So I mm-hmm. upgraded my sneak, so I've just been sneaking around. And then once you upgraded your sneak as well, if you sneak up on a character, you do times damage. And, yeah. You know, you do some more damage on that on that enemy or whatever. Some damage multipliers. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's interesting. The game itself, like it's what i expected but it's not what i expected okay so how like we talking story or gameplay right yeah now? like how was what it expected talking? how was it un- how did it uh, like surprise like do you like you? the story but you don't like the gameplay or or do you um, is it vice versa? i like the story mm-hmm. i like the story i think it's interesting like the beginning of the game i thought it was cool i know you like um, outer space i fucking oh. love outer space yep, that's yep. your jam Let's put I got that on record. Guy out there um, <laughs> that's your space jam we got it yeah but i love I, I did like the fact of, like, in the beginning of the game, like, what was happening that you thought was real. Um, yeah. And what turns out to be the actual story of what, mm-hmm. like, how it starts off was, was cool. Yeah. You know, when well, you first walk around the station. Yeah. Compared to the second time you walk around the station, you're like, huh, that's yeah. interesting. And then mm-hmm. I was pressing all these different buttons to make things happen. And yeah. So there's a lot of things where you're like, oh, I see what you did there. I yeah. see what's happening. But there's – so, like, you understand the truth the second time yeah. and it's still very early on in the game you understand the truth but you don't understand why that was happening does yeah. the space station feel as good you said they made dishonored yeah so uh does this it feel is as this good as the map design because i remember dishonored was cool and they had all the different ledges and the thing hidden back here and you had it's to jump across there and it was cool well i i would say i didn't play dishonored um so that'd be more of a brian question yeah. but i think the level design has been fun because there's, space station there's all these different things that like for me to get from point a to point b there's probably 20 different ways realistically for a lot of a lot of different parts in the game you can get to ways and you know the main story will give you optional ways of completing this quest right so like it will say you can either find the key card or you can get into this room and then you could or read this email or and meet find where this person and is like and then once through. you find this person then you can then go to where they are but then so like there's a lot of different ways to complete certain missions. Um, the goo gun or glue gun is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah you so guys said it was like a basically staircase maker. Uh, yeah. So what you the, can use it like yeah, that. The yeah, the glue cannon is base. It's made f- to slow down enemies for the most part. It freezes them. Or that's like its job in the world of it's the game. It's introduced right? yeah. as like slow down your enemy and then mm-hmm. bash them with a wrench. Yeah, or you could use it to make a staircase and then climb that staircase, but then you can there's lots of other lit- like little things that you can do with it. Like Gary, you were just telling me that you, you move can boxes. move boxes with it, things like that. And I'm sure <laughs> a lot of uh well, like push them out of the way. Yeah, yeah, things like that. Because you have to um, it's similar to like Deus Ex mm-hmm. where like you have to upgrade your character to lift that box. Oh, yeah. right. And so mm-hmm. I bash the door down so you kind of found a way to bash it in yeah. the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm like, around. oh, I see there's an item behind this box, but I can't lift this box. So let me shoot my glue gun like underneath it to lift that box mm-hmm. to move it out of the way and then I can get in there. Yeah. Um, but it. to go back to the, the the level design, I guess the world design of this game, I don't think it's as nearly as good as Dishonored 2 or Dishonored 1. It is made by Arcane Studios, so yeah. I think I, I get the feeling that like the B team of yeah. Arcane was making this while they were making like the A team was doing Dishonored 2 because it I mean, they're just not too far apart for one studio. Yeah, yeah. that's exact. That's what I'm saying. Well, th- they they're six months apart from each other, so it's like clearly. They didn't like. S- they could have split their efforts, but it's like it didn't seem that way in Dishonored. Anyways, yeah. it didn't seem like they were splitting efforts. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Yeah. Um, so I I do like there is multiple different ways, like Gary was saying, that you can actually go ahead and play it how you want to play it and proceed through the world how you want to do that. But I feel like it's not as well thought out and open. So you are yeah, contained. You're in a space station. So, so there is only a certain it's amount of ways state. to do it. Yeah. So you. It's like one of those things where how do you balance? It wouldn't be too horrifying if you could just go anywhere you yeah, want. I guess the aesthetic, because like in Dishonored two, you are the predator, if right? You will. Of course. In this one, you're supposed to be the prey. This one, you're the you're the prey. Right. right. Oh, Damn right. it, Damn. light! 
the light is dead. The light is dead. But um, yeah, I, yeah. I bet. It, I think there's a lot of stuff in this game that has we haven't got to. Like I really again, think yes. There I'm is, only like, four like, hours. I read a couple yeah. things. You only need 20 minutes apparently. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Speedrunners are beating it in 20 minutes, which mm-hmm. is crazy. Um, but I've like read things like with your neuro mods. Like I was having a really hard time saying what do mm-hmm. I want to put yep. my neuro mm-hmm. mods in. I was doing like, the same thing. Doing and I'm like, but then I've been reading on things saying like it doesn't matter. You're gonna have so many neuro mods by the time you're midway through the game. Like just start putting it into stuff. So mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. Now I'm gonna put in sneak. Yeah, so now you're not afraid to stamina, dick around a little bit. Like all that stuff. Um, you do get like actual weapons, so you do get like yeah, pistols. Like, I have a silenced pistol right now. Yeah, pistol. I shot your pistol around. It was weird the way that the zooming worked. It was almost like I feel well, like you so clicked you don't, in and you then don't you really zoom in zoom and out. You don't zoom in with guns. You zoom in with your like your space. Oh, suit. So, so if I pulled the trigger, it would have cut me back out. Or uh, no, still you can stay, still you can still say but you're stay not aiming down sights. But you're not aiming down uh, sights. So it wouldn't have worked. So think about it like a binocular built into right. your visor and then you're um, just shooting. Free aim. Yeah. Like a yeah. donkey. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, I um at one point so I got no scared zoom. and I like grabbed my controller <laughs> and I zoomed in a little bit. Because when you pr- press in the right analog yeah. stick, it takes you into the... And then it kind of gives you two options. Do you yeah. want to keep zooming? Yeah, or do you, you want to keep like zooming out? or back out? So like I, for maybe like five minutes, I was like, what the fuck is happening <laughs> in this area of the game? Like, am I in like... Because there is like, like a, a weird, film over, over yeah. your visor. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And then I see like zoom to the left or the right or to like to the left side of my screen. I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, I could, I could agree with that. Thanks, pal. Yeah, I was confused with that as well. Usually, it's like a left trigger thing. So yeah. Like, I was trying to figure it out, but then it's just not there, yep. um, which is fine. So, like, you know, you have all these different weapons. I'm starting to get more. Like, I just got that uh, crossbow mm-hmm. that does absolutely no damage. But it, that's not the point of the crossbow, though. No. So, the point of the crossbow is, I'm guessing, and it tells you when you're as when, soon as you pick it up, that there's certain buttons and certain things that you can't reach to open certain That's doors, like a tool but you can find a way. Solving. Like if I'm at a door and I see the buttons on the other side of the door, I might be able to use my glue gun to get up to a, like a crate or an area where I can mm-hmm. shoot that yeah. button to open that door for me. So I think there's a lot of stuff that we haven't seen yet. As far as the enemies go, the mimics cool in the beginning. Um, I feel like everything's so bland. Like I said last week. Yeah, it's, I, I, it's kind of funny sometimes like where when I was just playing this afternoon, like I went into like a room and then the mimic, like, you know, you see it run off, but then it Mm -hmm. turns into something and like falls over. Yeah. And then I'm like crouching, sneaking. I'm like that thing, you're fucking dead. And you just shoot it. And then it's a one shot like hit. So I like how, like, I do like how they can turn into pretty much anything, Mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. And then sometimes, like, when you haven't seen them in a while, you're running around and, like, you forget about them. And then all of a sudden, something jumps out. And that's what will actually, like, make me be like, what the? And then you just kind of smack them with a wrench real quick. (laughs) So they're, like, the grunt enemy. Yeah, Yeah. they're more deadly than that. Because they can come in packs, too. That's the problem. So, like, you're swinging a wrench around. You're swinging, yeah. And if you're playing on PS4 and on a relatively big TV, it's that's the issue is that, like, you have multiple enemies that are just attacking you and you can't hit them because of terrible. Then if you run away, then they turn into shit and then you don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. Um, And then they pop back out again, those little fuckers. Although, like, it is funny because, like, you'll be, you'll, you know, if you walk into, like, a room that has a table and, like, dinner set up or whatever and then it's like this plate and then there's another plate like halfway on top of it you're like well clearly the guys didn't fucking design the game like that let me smack these plates and then sure enough you figured it out yeah you did it um (laughs) so the the one thing that's interesting is like you have your health and then you have like your suit health like your armor health yeah um which takes different things like you can eat food to heal yourself there's med kits to heal yourself and then the armor, there's like these like suit like patches or something. Yeah, it's just basically a repair kit for the most part. But it's interesting like how they have the two different like health bars, and one correlates to another. So like the way that it works is like it shield doesn't know. So it's not like you deplete your suit and then your ar- your health goes down. It's you know if you have a hundred h- health and a hundred uh, suit and you get hit. Your suit takes damage, but then you also take some damage. So the it's further, damage. so the further that your suit is, is damaged, damaged, the more, the more damage, damage you're gonna take to your health. And if your suit goes away, you can't breathe or something, and you die. What's uh, the deal? I haven't gotten that far down. I don't know. 
Come on, guys. You got to be pushing the limits here, man. You I mean, I'm trying things. to stay alive. Can't you save it? This guy dropping pens. Yeah. You're dropping knowledge, man. You need um, to save the game and see what happens. Once my first experience, and we were talking about this a little bit earlier, with enemies that weren't mimics. Mm-hmm was interesting so in the beginning of the game you're going through you go to your office you watch a video and then there's a bunch that's when side missions start popping up yeah so the first side mission was to go to the trauma center so i'm like sure i'll go to the trauma center and i went in there don't go to the trauma center (laughs) (laughs) there's these two i think they call phantoms is it sure the phantoms maybe um but they're just like they're big they're Mm -hmm. probably like eight feet tall and they're just slowly walking around I looked in there. I'm like, this doesn't look good. And I went out, saved, went back in, just started shooting them. And I, this is at this point in time, I only had my glue gun and a wrench. Yep. So I'm just like, I'm shooting them, shooting them, shooting them. And then I just get annihilated. Yeah. So then I started trying to get a little creative. So then I w- went around the area. I found turrets. I picked up two turrets. Mm-hmm. I brought them up, put them in the front of the room itself. And then I ran in there and tried to get them to chase me. And I'd run back out. Did the and same then my thing. turrets were fighting them. I ended up killing one of them, and then the other one still killed me because the mimic started coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. So it was a cluster. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm sure now that I have some weapons and some more health and all that stuff, I could go back yeah, to it. Yeah, there is, there is creative ways to do things. Like that area that you were in earlier where things are on fire, and you when I first walked into that door, before you walk into that door, there's a turret that's in like a suitcase. So you could place that wherever you want and deploy it, and then it'll sh- start shooting things when it detects something, which is really cool. Yeah. So I placed it right in front of that door, and I you there's glass, so you can see that there's mimics and phantoms behind the glass. So what I did was I opened up the door, and I sh- glued the, the phantom, and I took care of the mimic, and my turret was shooting the phantom, the phantom. And then the phantom came out, hit the turret, and I just whacked it to death, and it went down. Um, so there are creative ways to go about doing that, and I'm sure that fir- like that progresses when you further progress into the game. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see. I did get shot through a wall from a phantom. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Like, it did the wall destroy, or did you just go through? A so it was. You saw where I was mm-hmm. in that room. So I had done. I did something where I went outside. I was in zero grav, and you have to go out, mm-hmm. which is. It's cool. I mean, it, there wasn't like I was no combat or anything out there. I was just kind of floating around. Mm-hmm. Got something, went back to the room, opened up the room door. But when you go back there, there's now more enemies and there's a phantom walking around. So I was just like, I'm not even gonna fight this guy. I'm just gonna run right by him. Ran into the room, put in the 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 key card or whatever I got for it, and then I turned around and I shut the door. I mm-hmm. locked the door behind me, and then there's, of course the phantom comes walking over, but he's behind the door, mm-hmm. and then we're just kind of staring at each other. And I'm like, well, he, I'm waiting for him to open the door. He doesn't open the door. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm good. So then I just was walking around the room and I was trying to figure things out in that room, but he kept alerting me that he was there because mm-hmm. he just never left yeah. the door. So then I like went up to the stairs and I'm like staring at him, and all of a sudden he's charging up and he shoots right through the door. The door's still locked. Just That's shoots through the door and hits me. Oh shit! Okay, maybe then, glitch. Probably. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "What the fuck?" So then I went and I opened the door and I killed him. Was Weird, fucking fuck that guy. Yeah. But it, when you said shot me through a door or shoot through a wall, I thought he like shot you and your character went through a wall behind oh, you. No, no. Because no. I was like, "That's kind of cool." Yeah, that's uh, kind of like record you, that. Yeah. Well, sometimes in the games you see that where the enemy's guns or something are poking through the wall and yeah. they're like, "What the fuck?" So maybe yeah. one of those situations. Collision detection. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's the worst. I mean. <laughs> It's like I said, it's not exactly what I expected, but I think there's a lot more to explore in the game. I think it's interesting how creative you can get. And I'm sure like once like I haven't even got any powers where I can actually turn into things. And once I start being able to turn into that's like a, a coffee cup and just start rolling around like that's. That's the what shit I'm popping talking off. about. Yeah. I've seen that you can turn into turrets. You can like turn into a lot of different things. So that's what I'm interested on. And so I'm getting to that point. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm liking it. I love space. So it's cool. Yeah. I just wish the enemies themselves were. I think I would like the enemies to be different than what they are. Yeah. I, just, I don't think it's just like black blobs. Yeah. It's I don't land. think it's I don't think it's that fun to fight them at the moment. Um, kind of similar to what people were saying about um, the Resident Evil characters, like the enemies. So they were just oh, I didn't, like, I didn't play Resident Evil Seven, the, but they had some uh, characters that were just kind of like black silhouettes. In a way, they had shape and they had like figure, but they were mostly made out of like it seemed to be goo or something. And I, it seems like you just get bored of them after a while. Yeah, it, 
I kind of feel the same way. Like if that's how the characters were in Resident Evil Seven, I'll take well, the word for it. Well, that's only the like I know that particular enemy was. No, they yeah. didn't it's like one that enemy. One. They, yeah. Uh, Would you say that they're relatively similar or? No. No. Okay. But anyways, like I, I just th- I don't know. Like I agree with you on that a hundred percent. Also, yeah. talk about the load times here for a sec. Yeah, they it's, suck. Yeah. So load times super long. It's like. Un- unnaturally long. Every load screen is two load screens. Yeah. So there's that. So there's like a little bar at the first load screen. You're like, all right, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. All right, great. And then it takes you to a second load screen where it's just a black screen. In the bottom right corner has like a little logo that's Sometimes going. Sometimes you think it's frozen or something because it takes so long. And you're like, like, what uh, the fuck? If you're going to load to a second screen, just make the first loading screen longer. And what's super annoying is that it's in certain parts of the ship that have to load. Yeah. So like if I have a side mission and it's like, Oh, you have to go to this side of the ship. And so like, I'm walking over there and then I see a door that would be a loading screen. I go through it. And then I realize that I can't do the side mission yet because Mm -hmm. I haven't got that. I don't, I didn't unlock this something, something that I needed. You go back to the door and then I'm like, fuck. And Mm -hmm. now I got to go back. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, I'm on my phone and then I look up and the game's still loading. And then I, get into it and then i'm like i'm not interested in playing this anymore and then i turn it off yeah i mean like i you can really make a sandwich it's that's brutal it's pretty bad like that's i thought brutal. that skyrim was bad like this is this is kind of what up was there. what was that game what was the game with oh the, uh, recore 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 that's still oh, worse. that was that is, is still way worse yeah, yeah it's brutal yeah recore we timed it out it was, it was like, like two minutes and yeah. like 30 seconds yeah, or something. something crazy like that something crazy so um but i'm enjoying it i mean we'll see where it goes from here but people are beating it in 20 minutes which is insane insane mm-hmm. so i would so you love guys to definitely weren't lying when you said you can play your own way yeah, yeah. <laughs> like glue gun your way yeah i you did get a jetpack so you can kind of hover around it's, mm-hmm. it's not like you're like just jetpacking everywhere but it yeah. gives you like at least you can jump from a high point and, and not you, hurt yourself yeah, yeah. kind of land back down easily so yeah, that was yeah. so. It's been good. Um, yeah. I'm gonna pass along to Brian since. So nice. To yeah, you. it's just a nice little transition. Nice to little you, Brian. transition there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I didn't really play a whole lot of Prey this week because Gary was so kind enough to lend me, lent me, lend you, lend me, lend you. you. Yep, lend me. I was helping you with grammar. Yep, so I mark pr- the day I and time on that. I should actually. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin doesn't do that often. But yeah. little nightmares. I've Surprising. Been yeah. Little nightmares. Um, so I played. I beat it in two nights. Uh, played it, you know, Monday, Tuesday. Got all the way through it. Enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend it right off the bat. Um, if you like limbo, two D si- platformers, puzzle games, whatever. Played a little bit of this myself. Justin, you also played a little bit of this yourself, so you can probably talk to it. Uh, first thing I noticed right off the bat, like you said, you start off in a little suitcase. You're a little, you know, character in a yellow uh, raincoat. Can't change to inverted. Can't do it. So I had some issues. What needs to be the, inverted? Uh, the camera. Oh, right. Just a regular free camera. Yeah. So I'm I'm a weirdo, and I do inverted, I guess. And I just, it, like, a lot of times I was looking down, and I was looking up because I'm backwards. I can see how this could be an issue during certain parts where you might have to run away from things. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of an issue. Yeah, that was an issue. So, uh, you, you know. made it through. Congrats. Made it through. I made it through all nice the way. Nice work, dude. Perseverance. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, so I, I also have here early on very creepy and uh, disturbing imagery. Um, so like a lot maybe of babies the uh, appear to be children's highs handprints that are just appears to be blood on the walls. And yeah, stuff like it looks that. like dried blood or a black ink or something of yeah. that nature. Black so goo, sort of black Some goo. Sort of black, there's a yeah. theme going it's on here. Goo. Horror and black goo. goo. Um, but yeah, there's lots of disturbing images, and I'm not even talking about that. Like at the the third room that you're in. There's a, a seemingly a man that had hung himself. Yeah. Um, like, it's pretty fucked so up. So y- all you see is from his waist down, and it's there's a chair there, and his feet are above the floor. So there are lots of, like, things like that throughout the whole game that have disturbing images and um, very adult tones, if you will. Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's, it's like, up. it's very... It's very fucked up. And like the further you get, the like the more kind of it's it's strange too because I don't want to give too much away. But the further you get, the more uh, normal things start to just like oh that's just part of it. It's just normal. So like you kind of become numb to these things that are happening around you, 
And if you stop to look, it's probably actually fucking super sketchy. Yeah, and that kind of that also is presented in a um, a story type of element that we won't spoil, but. There are, you know, it, it that's also reflected in the game itself, yeah. which I thought was very creative, very unique. No, yeah, that's what I, I think I mentioned last mm-hmm. week. There's a t- certain turn in the game where right. I was like, huh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. It's interesting. I like um, that a lot. Yeah, I thought the story was, for what the game is, I thought mm-hmm. the story was good. It yeah. told the story. You can kind of come up with your own story for what happened in this room because you go from room to room to room to room, and you can kind of just say, this is what I think happened here. Mm-hmm. It's uh, very much left up to interpretation. Whereas like you have a game like inside where the story is good and you're moving through it. And then the end is just like, they take that story, that good story. And they just mm-hmm. kind of threw a bunch of shit at you. Like a really, yeah, it's, it's like they mashed a, it up in a ball almost. They took a yeah. really weird turn and threw it into a ball and then rolled it through a building. Yeah. Um, but with this, it's very much left to the player and how the player deduces what happened here and what's going on here in the entire story, um, yeah. which I really like. I, I'm a big fan of that. I like that about Inside uh, because at the end, when like even when you're playing in, like Inside or Limbo, for example, like you have all of these like thoughts of like, oh, this could be how the story, the developer wanted you to interpret it. But my, my interpretation could be way different than Gary's or it could be similar, but we have different outcomes or whatever. Mm. Um, with this, I feel like it's a little bit more grounded, but still very much left to uh, interpretation. So yeah, I would highly recommend playing it. Um, what do you think is like the, uh, it for yourself, the monsters? Um, so there are, I guess the enemies in the game, they're not necessarily enemies. They're more of like, they're just doing their daily. Yeah, they're doing bullshit. their daily thing in the kitchen, just cooking up some stew. Yep. You know, and so then you're just kind of like running. I would say it. that there are four main bosses, if you will. Um, so each section of the game has like a boss, or so it's like lived in by a certain yeah by a certain creature. Um, so you play as this little thing. Potentially, it looks like a. a it a looks human like child it looks like a there, human child which in a I'm trench expecting coat. it not to be because and of what's going on. And then you you find these create like these monsters if you will, these human-esque monsters that are a lot larger than you. So and when they see you or if they detect you, they're going to grab you and presumably kill you. Um, so each each environment that you're in has a distinct monster and a distinct way to solve their puzzles. So um, the first one, for example, hey, watch it. Don't well, spoil I, it's okay. not really. You've already met him. So the first one is yeah. blind. So the first one can't see, but his hearing He's got, like, is super long arms. Yeah, his his hearing is jacked up to the point where he can hear the the floor creaking. So you have to be careful what you're doing, because then he will detect you. And uh, you got to imagine if you're blind, your sense of smell is probably a little bit better. So That's what they say. So there's things that you have to take into consideration with each character that you're dealing with, yeah. and th- I thought I thought that that was really clever. Well, they did it well, and they did they did do it. They did it really really well. Um, so I like the fact that the environments change how you play the game. Um, so like like I said, wooden floorboard creaking gives away your position, but there are things that you can uh, do to avoid cr- stepping on creaky wood. I'll just leave it at that yep. um, to make sure that you're not giving away your position. Um, let's see. Although I will say that the pacing of this game is all sorts of fucked up. Yeah. Because there'll be one section where you are being very stealthily and then you're being very quiet and then you get to the next room and then you're also being very quiet. And then it's like, fuck. And fuck. then it's like, you need to start running immediately. And there's no way for you to really know that because the so previous room... Yeah, until you die. So there's a lot of trial and error. So like, you'll start being stealthy because you're like, okay, the previous room was like that. Let me see if I can do that that same tactic in this new room that has the same sort of puzzles and enemies that are in there. So you're like, okay, that makes sense. But then it changes dramatically. So there's a few areas like that where I was like, oh, I died. I died once or twice and being like, okay, not the right approach. Yeah. You go again. (laughs) I, uh... I don't know if the only time that I kind of was like, oh, shit, 
in the entire game was the one part where the elevator part. I don't know if you remember what part I'm talking about, but and I don't want to spoil too much, but there's a part where like you sneak through this area and you're like, oh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, you just got to go to this elevator. You hit the elevator and then the elevator is mm -hmm. coming down and then there's a monster in the elevator mm -hmm. coming out and then you're just like, oh my yep. God. And then you're like hiding in a corner. Yep. Um, there's lots of little like intense moments like that yeah. where... I think that um, I think that what probably gets overlooked in this is the sound design. I think that the sound awesome. is the scariest part of the game, um, because there are it's there's like lots of groans and creaks and neck cracking. Yeah, and you're like that's and it, it's just like really kind of grotesque. And one of when when one of the enemies like hears you or sees you and mm -hmm. they screech out yep. and they start chasing you like that's sketchy yeah there's it's lots of sketchy. like really scary little moments where i'm like really surprised at how well the game so the sound like going back to the sound though when you're playing the game it it um when it's an intense moment it like it beats like a heart yeah and i found myself at one point during the kitchen that's a, one of the levels is during one of the kitchen scenes i was like on a roll like i was just understanding what the puzzles were i was yeah. understanding what i needed to do where i was going and i hadn't died in a while mm. and the way that i was moving like i was playing the game so laser focused that like my hands were shaking my heart was pounding with the the game itself and i was just like i had to like pause it and put like put the controller down and just like take a breather yeah because like it wasn't Insane. at like one of those parts where i was like running around running away from somebody it was like a part where i'm like okay like all right i know what i need to do this room is kind of relatively safe like okay this is the puzzle i need to do that mm -hmm. and i was like i i like thought to myself like that's not that pounding is your heart that is not the game <laughs> so i had to like pause the game and i was still going and i had to like sit there and collect myself for a minute because it was just oh, it's still so my in beating heart it was so intense it really was like yeah. i was i was really not expecting that from this game um which I thought was, yeah. Brian really was good. texting me uh, on Monday and Tuesday when he was playing it, just mm -hmm. kind of telling me about it, and then he was like, "Yeah, I just got to the bathroom part," and I was just like, "Yeah, I know exactly where." Yeah. you are. And Brian's <laughs> like, "What the?" Fuck? So I was just like, "Oh yeah, I'm just in a bathroom," and Gary's like, "I know exactly where you are. Do you want a hint?" I'm like, "How do you like from that text? How do you know that? Because there's so many rooms, a lot of toilet paper. There's a lot of toilet paper. There's toilet paper everywhere. everywhere. Games of shit. Yeah. Sounds like uh, Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Seriously." More so toilet paper. Only three rolls. Yeah, but three in rolls per many, many bathrooms. <laughs> That's yeah. very three true. Situations. Um, so there was a, a so a, a going back to the camera thing that I had an issue with. So I found a lot of the time, what this game does is it kind of zooms the camera out or zooms it in and it focuses on a certain thing. And every time it did that, I was like, I don't want the camera to be there. I want it over here. And I was constantly moving the camera away from whatever it was trying to focus on. And I don't necessarily know if that was to like be part of the horror aspect of the game or if it was just like, hey, pay attention to this one area. But every time it was like, pay attention to this closet, there was nothing in the closet. And I'm like, I I'm trying to go trying to go over this way. I want to see what's fucking happening over there. I don't give a shit what's happening there. I want to see know? what's happening over there. So, and I was just, I, I constantly moving. Yeah, I mean, I think the controls, the, camera. the controls, the camera angles can be funky throughout this game but at the end of the day it's a four hour game mm -hmm. it's a four hour 2d side scrolling platforming. yeah it's probably meant uh, we should mention it's 2d side scrolling puzzle you don't fight enemies you're just you, you gotta run you gotta run um because they'll kill you in one like they grab you and that's really it yeah um yeah what else do i got oh uh oh i was just saying how um you know i thought it was really smart that each environment changes the way that you play and um so that also dictates the rules in which that area is like the way that you play. So it changes up the rules and what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, things like that. I think that's really clever. I think it's super smart that you don't really see in things of this like kind of caliber. So like if I, I you just it's so easy to draw the comparison to inside that yeah. with inside, you understand the rules of inside pretty quickly. And then it's just like, OK, how do I solve this puzzle? But with this, it's like. Okay, they're very basic stuff that you can do in this game. Okay, how do I how do I outsmart this character? How do I outsmart this other character? Yeah. And each character, you know, dictates the way that that level is played. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I mean, I had a really good time with it. 
I do want to go back through it and do all the collectibles and mm-hmm. just kind of see. What, I'm sure it might change up something. I don't know if there's another ending or. If I do like think that. that there is a hidden ending. Yeah. Um. I also it we like you said there are collectibles so there are, are these little other living creatures that are in the game that run away from you and like they you earn their trust by finding them when they're cowering you and give them a hug somewhere. and you give them a hug and you and they're like oh okay like this person. And that kind of built you build the car- like almost like a little relationship with all of these little things. Yeah. And um, and then there's also these uh these dolls. porcelain dolls that I didn't know what the fuck to do with them until the like literally the second to last one. So I found them all. I picked yeah. them all up. I just didn't know what to do with them. So you should break it. Yeah, you should probably break it. Yeah. That's that's what you should do. But um, yeah, I don't really. I mean, I I can't cannot recommend this game enough. Um, Little Nightmares, it's really great. It's on everything. It's on Steam, uh, any sort of PC, um, I guess, thing that you're... Origin, uh, Xbox yeah, One, it's on PS4, except for the Switch, or any Nintendo wham, platform. Wham. By but the way, this would be a great Switch game. It would be a really great Switch game. That's Just throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. Just throwing it out there. Every game. But we'll yeah. Coming. Uh, that's all I really have for the most part. Um, Justin, you kind of played a little bit about it. Do you have anything else that played, we didn't yeah, really like? Yeah, I played like? a little bit about it. A little bit. You played a little bit. About Do you have anything to say? No, I mean, I'm excited to keep going. Yeah. Um, and I guess that they'll be watching me do it at the same time here. Yeah, which you can do over on YouTube.com slash Pixelated Points. I'm we'll doing the Let's, let's Play, play it, um, to see what's going down. I'm excited. I got a lot of questions. You know, you know what's happening with I these feel, handprints? What's so happening with the little person? I feel like well, you might have stuff. got some answers. if you Gary listen. and I. Well, Gary I'm and saying, I but still I have. No spoilers. I want to feel the spoilers from the Gary side. and I still have questions about it, I feel like. I feel like it is very open-ended. Like Inside was. Like Inside yeah. was. But so there are things that I would like to talk off air about. Okay. So, So, yeah, you go ahead. All right. Well, hey, that's that. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess really I I keep playing The Witcher. Mm -hmm. The only thing I will say is I've been on a Gwent, the card game. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a lot of side quests for this. It's a a great game. It actually was so good that they made their own game. Yeah. Yeah. So pick it up. (laughs) I mean, it's not too bad. But uh, so I've been just crushing it out and getting – um, buying all the cards and then I challenge the guy and I have the strategy that seems to be working and I haven't lost yet. Nice. So I've just been trying to crush them all out. It's actually been pretty fun and I've been doing I that. I enjoyed it when I played uh, The Witcher. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I played like one guy and I got it and then the second guy, I just ke- it just kept crashing on me mid Oh, like sucks. so, like uh, the third time, I was like, I'm not playing. So Gwent. I thought it was nice done. Each time you beat one of the people on the quest line, mm-hmm. you get a card. You get a new card, and then there's a bunch of different decks. I've been using the one deck that I know how to use, or at least that my strategy. Don't we all? Yeah, you just you stick to the one deck. Damn it, work. the block is dead. You just work it a bunch. You just edit it. <laughs> yeah, put some. Bading, bading. So yeah, my strategy is the cards that I have. Um. I have a spy, these spy cards where you put a character on the other side of the board, and it gives them points for whichever. There's three different slots. Yeah, just like, you know, three different rows. For, three different rows for enemies. So you put it in that row, and it gives them the points for that row, but you get to draw two cards. Mm-hmm. So I bank on getting these two cards. I have three of them, getting mm-hmm. at least two of them in, your, in my hand in the beginning. And I have these two cards that are called decoys, so I can pick up any card on my side and leave the decoy. I don't get any points for the decoy, but I get to take that card back. So if you put a spy on my side, Mm -hmm. I can decoy him and then use him again. So what I do is I stack up their side with a bunch of my spies and I draw a bunch of cards and hopefully they play spies on me Mm -hmm. and then I take their spies and play it on them. So they get like 50 points on their side. I have like none. So then I forfeit the first round Mm -hmm. and they just used a bunch of their cards and a lot of different decks will have if this type of character, when you play him it draws the other characters out of your yeah deck there so hopefully they dump a bunch of their cards into the first round i forfeit and now i have 15 cards and they have eight so now i have two rounds to deplete their eight cards gotcha and then the other cards that i have are it's just let's say these three guys are the same cards and they have a like a link if you play them each time there's more than one in a row it, it multiplies mm-hmm. so i just lay down a bunch of those cards. I just keep those on me and like basically get rid of everything else. You and get I a solid just, strat. At least for playing the computer. Because yeah. I know the computer will. Mm-hmm. What they'll do. And they'll, for, they'll, they'll give me, I'll forfeit the first round 
And then the second round, they play one card, like a 10 or like a boss card or something. Mm -hmm. And I, they'll just pass. So I beat that card and I win the second round. Mm -hmm. And then the third round, I just destroy them because I have 15 cards. They have like four. Yeah. And then it's over. So it's been working. And then the other thing I've been following is I'm, I'm pretty close to beating the main story. I haven't touched a single DLC mission yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm like level 30. Um, I have, I've done quite a lot of side quests. I don't have very many side quests left that I've found. It feels like each time you level up, there's definitely level indicators before they give you some quests. I'm, I'm thinking not a lot though. So I'm pretty sure I have what would appear to be at least all these side quests unlocked to do. So I'm getting really close on that, but I've been doing the, there's like a fighting, like how underground much, fighting. How many hours have you played? A bunch. I, I haven't. Like if you had a guess. I couldn't. I, I, I mean, know. I'm if so you're bad saying that numbers. you're unlocking all the side quests, like I didn't even complete all the side quests and I put 120 hours into the main story. So like, I'm yeah. just curious. It's probably gross. I'll take a look at my save file. It's probably <laughs> disgusting because I'm, I'm at like level 31 and I have like maybe four quests. Like I'm ready to fight. Like I've got, I got Siri already. Like we're and ready to go. I'm making preparations. Gear. I got my master, my master Witcher gear unlocked. Um, and now I'm just finishing up those side quests in the two main side quests that have been taking me a while are the cards and the fighting. Mm -hmm. So you get to go around and fight all the champions and that's really fucking fun. It's yeah. just hilarious. Um, so I've been doing that and I got the horse races done basically right in the beginning of the game. So my horse is all strapped up. Like I'm ready for battle. I'm like the king of Gwent. I'm like the king of cards. I mean the king of fighting. I'm like the king of horse racing. I'm just ready to go. There Wonderful. You go. There you and go. then once I beat that, I got the two DLCs ready to go. I got a bunch of missions waiting for me to activate them. Awesome. DLCs are fucking sweet. I think Blood and Wine is probably my favorite, um, which I believe is the second one. Um, but they're both great, and that's another 20 hours, so you're a sicko. Yeah. So, so I'm <laughs> wondering. Um, well, yeah, I'll probably – I could keep going, or I could do a new game plus. Uh, but I'll probably just keep going because I have – I found this merchant or a couple of different merchants by now that I have so many like superior potions, master potions, super potions. So you just keep going and go through the DLC because you got, you can go back to the DLC. It's like one separate island. It's I a saw. separate island or a separate land that mm -hmm. you go yeah. to. So you could always go, go back, back and, and continue yeah. your whatever on the whole so, yeah. actual story. I mean, I have a friend at work that literally game. has completed everything. He's a savage. Yeah. Absolute savage. He's the one that said strawberries are the best fruit. <laughs> he sounds cocky like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been crushing that out, and I mean, really, that's all we mentioned. I've still been crushing out some MLB, the show, and mm -hmm. stuff like that on the side. Zelda, I beat the f my fourth Divine Beast in Zelda. So there now I'm gonna there you go shrine it out, shrine, shrine it grind. big time. It's basically what I'm doing mm -hmm. after I beat my fourth. I just well, we can probably pass it right on because that's to you, my friend, you and go. we can talk some Zelda. Yeah. So yeah, the how many these down? The birds a dickhead. We talk. We won't spoil too <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah. That's the last. Check one. the Twitter. Yeah. That's <laughs> like I think the last one that I did. I did really enjoy the lava divine beast. The way you have to um, escort kind of. Usually escort missions are kind of like lame as shit. Mm -hmm. But you escort the what type of person is Goron. he? Goron. Goron, and you kind of use him as a cannonball. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. That was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, it's nothing like too crazy. I just thought it was funny that you're just like they kept blasting this dude as a cannonball. <laughs> they kept the humor with that race. Yeah. Because that's kind of like the goofy, you know, the yeah, goofy like, like the race. Big, yeah. the big He's like, just stuff me in yeah. his cannon and fucking shoot me over there. I'm like, you don't ask me twice, go like, get in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so, yeah, that was pretty sweet. So, yeah, I'm just trying grind, coming in hot. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I've gone, I've just been going after shrines. I'm in sand now. I'm on the sand. I'm like down oh, in the desert. That's brutal. I stopped those doing those kind of shrines. Stop. I've tried to grab. Just leaving, coming back. To yeah. Later. I um, just did the race. That was like the easiest one. Just like oh you do yeah. the sand, sand seal race. Seal race. Yeah, oh, I easy. haven't done that. It's, it's coming. Spoiler. Coming yeah. in hot. Um, I'm do oh, I'm doing a lot of like the shrine missions. Yeah, like they're hard. Yeah. Some of them are fucking hard, man. Like you I've just been don't picking know what the ones. Do. Yeah, yeah, I've been picking the ones that have been like pretty the easiest. Like. They've been very like clear, mm -hmm. you know, clear. Yeah. Like you need to do this. Bring this kid a steel sword. Yeah, like, exactly. Right. And yeah. then some of the more vague ones, um, like the accordion guy. Oh, the shooting it. Uh, are you talking about Cass? 
Yeah, cast. He's um, saying like shoot an arrow into when the shadow casts. Into well, the I got that head. one, but I think he has another one. Oh, I don't like I'm when you first meet him. Mm-hmm. He throws you some sh- crazy shit. Yeah, that's the. S- he might have two, but so what? When the blood s- moon comes, you got to shoot it, or the uh, blood sun, or whatever well, like no. that. No, it's not no. Like thank you for that spoiler. Um, I don't know. I was like asking oh, if that's, that's what he meant. No, I don't know. But um, when you first meet him out in the field, mm-hmm. he has another like Shrine song. Yeah. That oh, I must have. Different. I must have already gotten that one then. Cause yeah. I don't even remember that. And sometimes think. you think I could you're looking wrong. for something, but in reality, it's just like oh, it's just behind this wall with the. With a bomb, but some of them are pretty elaborate. Like I'm stuck. I I gotta get the dragon scale for that bitch. Like yep. she, all she wants is dragon. I was scale. also intrigued with the sh- the shrine missions or ch- whatever. Um, that they weren't the easy. Like you still had to then complete the, the shrine. shrine. Yeah, which you I were thought was kind of funny. Yeah, I was expecting like the yeah. easy one. Like, yeah, it's just like yeah. a blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah the blessing yeah. of the shrine. Yeah. Um, I will some say some of them though. Some of them are tough, and they'll give you the blessing. But yeah. I found one that was sick on the minecart. In the lava? Oh, you yeah. You like, take think, your minecart. Yeah. How'd you guys get across the minecart? Did you stasis it and smack it a bunch? Yep. Yeah. See, what I did was I picked up another minecart yeah, with the then, magnet, and then I backed up, and it pulled – by me pulling it, it pushed my <laughs> cart all the way back. I'm intrigued by that. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, I thought I, that was a cool one. Right now, I, I'm sick of the, the desert area, so I went to Central Hyrule. Which I really I've unlocked, but I haven't really explored around. Well, I stay away lot, from that too because yeah. of the guardians. Of, that's gonna be lots the last of guardians. One. Uh, yeah. Lots of guardians in that area. However, I did find a uh, a coliseum ruins, and I was like, "This is really cool." Yeah, it's we were like, talking about this earlier. I'm, I got to see what's going. And down I was like, "This is really cool." And like right when you walk in, it's kind of covered in the the goop, whatever the black and purple goop. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. There's like these little stupid eyeballs. I got to take out. Didn't really find any of those. I did find a white maned Lionel or Linel, whatever the yeah, fuck the, those gigantic Minotaur oh, things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Took care of that. <sighs> that cost that. That was a lot of problems for yeah. Brian. Lots yeah. did of problems. Did you use the um? You got the master sword. Yep. So does that count as like a no. character? You deplete when you're fighting a Lionel. It'll make you time out. Uh, like with the master yeah, sword? Yeah, I didn't use the master sword for it because it was like, I have stronger things. I'm not going to waste my master, master sword, sword on that. Yeah, dude, that the thing is just sword is sick. It's just straight. Th- I'm never, never mind. It's just, it's not that impressive when it's not powered up fully. And you know what I'm talking about. But it's not that impressive. I have more powerful items. I was using that. I used like three fairies, fucking Midna's Grace or Midna's Grace. Have Mipha's you been, did Grace. you just freeze them? And, no. Oh, I tried to. He's See, fucking I, quick, I've pal. never been f- a fan of the stasis. Like, I, I just stasis him. Too. You can get on his back and you can well, smack that him in his head. Yeah. And, um, mm-hmm. and then I also, backflip off. There is a fairy trick. So I can max out at 11 fairies. There's a fairy trick? There's you a son of trick. a bitch. Yeah. Well, you got to show me the fairy trick. <laughs> but um, yeah, I took him out, got his... Uh, Got his swords, got his shields, and yeah, got his the bows. Gear is sick. Yeah, because I just only killed incredible. One. Is that who you're telling us is in there? Yeah. Okay. All he's right. he's no. It, those things are no joke. Yeah, because I think the white the white mains are yeah. the hardest. That's sick. I'm gonna go in there. I'm a stasis him. That's not gonna do it. I'm it's, gonna get it done. I, I believe <laughs> I believe in that, you, but that, that stasis up. that stasis is not going to just kill him. I'll, I'll show I'll, you. I promise. Mm-hmm. I promise. Well, I want to say for before I forget, some of the shrines, I got more of the um, motion control ones. Oh, fuck that shit. Dude. It's awful. Well, fuck. it's uh, it's especially awful for the Wii U because I'm playing on the Pro Controller, so I gotta be like, all right, I gotta fucking <laughs> switch over, and oh. then it's never calibrated. No. Like now I know when it tells me, I just place it down on the table, and then I you know mm-hmm. yeah. bang it on now, so it's. At least the flip switch those, is already flip those upside down. The mazes, there it's a flat yeah. platform on the bottom. Um, but fact. I mean, for that, for the maze, sure. I but like, <laughs> I had one where I had a don't cube me, yeah. that had a, like light torches on fire, but there was two water spouts oh, coming. Oh, that one sucks. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I figured out a way to scam that one. Yeah, but I'm, um, I gotta go back to one that stumped me. Nice. That was I've never. I've, I've been never, only stumped once. Like, I've I never been. Come back. Well, I've always just. Played it through. I've never had. Well, I've I never ran out of arrows. I need to shoot shoot oh, the fire yeah. across to the other ones, I and suppose. there's water around, and I'm not sure what the combination is because it looked mm. like I lit them all up, and I'm like, fuck, maybe yeah. I'm missing something. I found a major test of strength when I probably shouldn't have, and went, yeah, I can't, I can't take this out. No, I did all those. I well, was, I, I'm like, not letting these. I'll deplete everything I got. Master sword. Well, I couldn't. Like, well, well, it was. I don't have a master sword. No master sword yet. It was before. I was probably like 
three or four hearts, oh, and no. I found a major test of strength, and I was like, One, I, I shouldn't I only got seven hearts right now. One thing I noticed that was really fucking awesome is that when you beat the Divine Beast, you usually get, like, an item. Like, I got a bow and arrow for beating the flying from one. From the Divine Beast? Or when no, you from, went back? From when the, you went the back. leader. Yeah. yeah. And then he tells you, like, oh, go to so-and-so, and you can buy a new one mm-hmm. if you lose or break your shit. Right. Yeah. I like so, that. So it's not unlimited, <clears throat> but you can go back and get it. There's, those those are all hanging in my house. Yeah, me yeah, too. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I've got I've got like the trident, the boulder breaker, the scimitar. I haven't there's a gotten shield, right. I haven't gotten the shield or oh yeah, there is a shield. I haven't gotten the the bow, but I figured that there was it was going to be a bow. So one of the towers, I think it has a skull on it, like a skull tower. Mm-hmm. You jump on top. Always a royal claymore. I mean, always a royal yeah, broad claymore, sword, broadsword, or, or something. Like, but the big one. The oh, one the claymore. It's yeah. the claymore, yeah. On top all the time. So I fucking have like five of those. Yeah. I'm always grabbing them. But Dude, they're good. They're like, I got so many soup ladles, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't even use a torch. I use a soup ladle. Like, just all day. They break in like fucking two hits, and then I just pick up the enemy's weapons and hit them with that. Now that reminds me, I maxed out my uh, carrying capacity on um, the food, like the food. Um, it told you you the, too much? The ones you cook, or like oh, where you yeah. uh, hold the elixirs. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. So the stuff you've made. Yeah. I think it's maxed out at two pages, three pages, something. Oh, I'm. So that. I'm not, I don't have any prepared food. I'm I have that plenty. Shit all the time. Uh, attack up. That's my. Prepare food and the stamina elixirs, yeah, or my whatever thing is, the stamina. Is that I just play until I die. I just keep the saves hot, and then, like, I never. I sleep. I always sleep is like the no. only time I heal. Is if I, I change time of the rarely day. Rarely die anymore. Once I was plus four hearts, I got a grip on. I like, die what way the more game. from falling down. Like falling down a mountain, and he rolls and he rolls and he rolls. I die often rolls. from like combat. Like I'm like. All right, let's get in here. Let's fucking take out these assholes. I play from so far back, like, I never have any arrows. Well, I buy a lot of arrows because I use all my arrows first, and then I just throw bombs, run away, throw bombs, run away, throw bombs. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, that, yeah. I don't have fucking time for that. There's no way that I'm that methodical where it's like that bomb doesn't do nearly as well, much damage. Well, I mean, damage. it blows them away, and then you whack them a couple times, and it blows them away, and you whack them a couple times. My bo- the bomb doesn't do much damage for me anymore on most enemies, but I basically use it. Like you just said, like I'll Clear throw it, up. push yeah. him away, and then I'll just go and mess him up. And you find I also one like guy, to you bring him down. I like to stasis them when they're on the ground and whack yeah, them and around. Yeah, that bit. works. But I also do like if you can grab something metal and just yep. bring it into combat with you, mm-hmm. magnet just the shit out of them, whack them with a metal box. But I found I haven't. I'm not dying anywhere close to as often as I did when I first started. I think mm-hmm. probably because I have a grip on like what, what how you everything's be. work. You know, just yep. you know, so. Game's not a, nearly as difficult. Um, How you doing leveling up your uh, your armor and stuff? I, I never have I'm enough doing items. Fine. Yeah, it's all yeah. The fairy fountain, I never have any items that I need. What do you mean? It's just you need, like, some armor requires this. Oh, the and this stuff. Item oh, and yeah, that, yeah. And, you know, goblin this. And I, col- I mean, I'm... That's the thing. Well, you know what your problem is? The fact that you say, oh, I avoid enemies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, so I almost not... I almost fight every enemy yeah. I come across just because, especially early on with the bombs and shit, because it's like, well, there's no cost to that. Yeah. Like, well, I, have, I have a lot of monster gear, but I just don't have a lot of plants. I don't have oh, a lot I'm of flowers. I'm grabbing all that shit. Yeah, I'm, I, I grab don't, I don't go out of my way. I'm not, I bust I'll, open all, a lot of rocks. I got, like, fucking emeralds out the ass. I'll admit the Animal Crossing cards have helped me out a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, not a lot, but they do drop Animal a lot Crossing. of, like... Yeah, the amiibo Because, like, the amiibo stuff. Animal Crossing cards. What are they so doing? I have, like... They drop, like, items. Uh, you get, like, things. three to five, like, plant, you know, oh, plants like, or meat. Mm-hmm. So, like, I have almost a thousand... Like crafting items. A th- yeah, a thousand, uh, r- yeah, like, rare meat or whatever. Shit, do you just do it every day? Yeah, I do it every day. Oh, yeah, I haven't even used an amiibo yet. Yeah. I mean, it's worth it. Because mm-hmm. then, I, you know, I use oh, that I mean, to make shit or... Especially the plants. Can I use drops, my villager? Like, yeah. Probably. Give me? Probably. I don't know. F- do it. And what about it my Japanese me. one? Will it work? Maybe. Probably. I don't see why not. Yeah. She shot me. Um, but yeah, for me, I've gotten. I've just finished getting all the memories. Mm-hmm. So, well, all the picture the m- memories yeah. for sure. Um, and how are you guys doing on like collecting, like taking pictures of everything? 
Uh, my compendium is fucking on point right now. Mm. I have the ugliest pictures of everything. All the swords, you can't even tell what they look like. They're just like on my back. <sighs> just like with the shield in front oh, of yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't do it. I have. I got. I've been trying to remember Unless to it's do a, it. Um, enemies. A lot of I've been taking pictures of something. enemies. Mm. I um. A quest. It, I find like if I run into a sword or something that I haven't, it's question marked. I'll just take a picture of it. Yeah, I've been trying to do that now. Mm-hmm. Dropping shit on the ground. Yeah, I'll do try that to get a lot the good too. photo. But magnet it around a little bit. Yeah, that's not really. Yeah, it's not really a huge priority, but it is something that I do. I try, try to, to remember. To. Yeah, yeah. I um, like to try to remember to take a picture of enemies if you can. Yeah. I'm I'm too deep in to where it's like. I'll kind of remember and I'll be like, well, I've already skipped so much shit that mm-hmm. I've killed that I could have taken pictures of them. Like, eh, it's not worth it. I'll wait until yeah. like, the thing is I that there's never been an enemy I haven't seen again. Uh, there's just different types, like maybe electric one. I haven't one seen right. a, like a red bokoblin in fucking forever. Or maybe you leveled past it or something. Or maybe, you know, know. you'd have to go back in that area. Yeah, like I just haven't seen one in forever. So yeah. I had to like find a, a Bokoblin club. Yeah, or I've been finding like some that. white Bokoblins and they've been fucking tough as shit. Dude. Yeah, they're very high. I think HP. all the white enemies are like the toughest uh, ones. Yeah. Maybe that's I haven't, I haven't, lino. yeah, I haven't seen any white enemies except for. Yeah, I've been hitting some white Bokoblins. I haven't gone well. back to the horses either. The horse have. Uh, dude, uh, I got the white li- horse. Those I got are the, the huge lines. Yeah, from like, yeah. I got a lot of horses. I'm like stacking up. But I. I like the all black horse. It's just I got the all black. He's got a little white nose. I got an all black one too. I don't. I got my one horse, Henry. It's hanging out at my house. Henry. Never fucking do shit with him. I'm there. not even like I just run everywhere. Yeah, in a with my one stamina bar. Most <laughs> of the time, you fucking are fast traveling pretty close to where you need to be. Right. When you, I mean, that's the thing. Like you get a lot of strides. You're not gonna go over to get the horse just to run the opposite direction. Like fuck that. And then I also find like when I had, I mean, he mine in particular with shit to control, but um, <laughs> it's just tough. Like if you run across a shrine, it's like, I got to get off them anyway. Um, I want to get in the crevices because some shrines aren't, they, your thing doesn't go off. You have to get to a close to like it. pretty yeah. close if it's hidden behind something. Or and especially the now way. with, like I did one quest, you know, like there's the one quest with the Gorons that y- your thing doesn't even go off mm-hmm. until you like blow open a wall. Yeah, it's like so. It's just like I would never. Yeah, I just fucked a horse. I mean, it's cool. You just fucked a horse. I wish that if you whistled, yeah. it just showed up. Right. I do like the fact that it is because I would use it all the fucking time if mm-hmm. I could just whistle and show up. Right. As soon as you fast travel and you're not going towards the closest thing is here. It's not. It's a shrine. It's not the stable, and you're just like. I I'm think. Not going to stable. I think the uh, compromise is if you're on the horse when you decide to fast travel, it should come with you. Yeah. And that, that nice igno- you know, so if you but fuck can't up, bring it, it to the top of the shrine, though. Well, you're in. F- I you're mean, the top of like a um, front of it. Top of a fucking tower, though. Yeah. Well, right, but maybe it doesn't. Then it doesn't maybe come with you. Dropped off the foot, maybe. Maybe, but I think Something. for a tower, it, it just, just doesn't be, come with it you. It should just be next to you. You should be able to whistle, and the fucking thing shows up. Yeah, I agree. Every with other Justin. game, well, yeah, is a whistle, sure. and your your horse shows up. That's just that's it. Mm-hmm. But I I guess they're trying to make it seem a little bit more realistic. Which I can understand. Trying to yeah, I mean that. that's the compromise. Like, the, I mean, that's to be the, like, you know what? the if Link dilemma. wants to use a horse, he has to go to the fucking stable. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, fine. Maybe I mean you could say you could argue maybe that's the intent is that oh you can't have the horse. They want you cert like walking or running more right. to yeah. be exploring. So you're not just running past not, you're just on your horse, cruising through. Yeah. I mean I don't know. You yeah. know, it's tough to say what the uh, motive behind it was. But um, anything else? Up? But yeah, I got uh, one more game. Justin might remember it. Let's see if he can remember the name. Star Hid- Fox. Hidden Folks. Oh, Hidden Folks? you got it? I played this game, right? No, but no, you might no, remember, I don't remember it from, from PAX. PAX. It looks like Where's Waldo. Oh, yeah, the black and white one? Yeah. Sheet. So I don't know when it came out, actually. Right. Uh, but it I might have just you. come out on the iPhone. I can tell you because sure. I reached out for some review codes, and they did not get back to me. Son of a bitch. So that was Suck not up. very cool. But it was uh, – You want free shit all the time? Relax. Uh, second uh, – third or third and fourth quarter of last year. Okay. So sometime in the fall. So I think I saw it – I don't know how I saw it, but – the version I saw was the Steam one. Mm-hmm. That was seven ninety nine. I was like, eh, I'd like to have it on Steam. Then the iPhone version three ninety nine. Glad I bought the iPhone version. Oh, really? Yes. So it is basically a Where Waldo, Where's Waldo game. Mm-hmm. Um, even though the reviews of it kept saying it was 
way more than just a Where's Waldo game. <laughs> right. You're like, hmm, I feel like I just need to click where that thing is, and then that's the end of it. Right. Um, well, there's Waldo. It's exactly like we saw at PAX, black and white, kind of you know, hand drawn mm -hmm. or looks hand drawn. Um, I would kind of like to play it on a PC or just on a bigger screen. Mm -hmm. I think the artwork would really stand out doing it that way. But it looks really good on the phone. Um, so there's not much to it. You just start it, and you find all that is different from Where's Waldo is you find more than one thing. Okay, so it's oh, a seek and find. Seek and so find. Yeah. Seek and find. I mean, those are always fun. Uh, yep. Dude, it's Brian, an, I it spies. A I spies. Perfect Brian Shitter game. Yeah. You it know. is. It's That's kind of how I've played it in the sense of. On the you, toilet? Well, <laughs> on the toilet. No, I actually haven't, but just you more. Will tonight. It's, a, it's an iPhone game. It right, is, yeah. You know, you just, mm -hmm. you're in line. Real quick. You pop it, you know, you try to find some of them. And then just um, So there's different characters. You have to find, like, mon you're in, well, right now, I guess I'm in jungle. You, like you find monkey, like a like monkey, like bananas, bananas mm -hmm. weird people with guitars, crazy a shit. Tiger, yeah. right? Like pina coladas um, or something. Yeah, it's crazy shit like that. Um, and they'll hide them behind shit. So you have the ability to kind of like cut bushes open if they're hiding behind shit. So they do really hide it. Like they'll mm -hmm. hide it behind where you can't actually See tell you have if to they're there. Remove you kind of have to guess, like, oh, you know. This looks a little weird. Looks, looks a little like weird. Mm hmm. And it's basically just kind of a sequel. Find the find. motherfucker. Yeah. So nice. would you spend would you recommend two people to spend the extra money to get it on Steam instead of I have yet to see what the benefit would be to have Besides it on a computer. Well Besides you just said the screen might make the but art if look you might the yeah, it might make the visuals really like pop out. Pop out. But is that worth an extra three to four dollars right I'm now? Sure. It all really depends on where well, you want to play this, but right. it sounds like the mobility of it is a is the, nice the key. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I, I haven't played it. It could get it could completely shift like halfway through the game. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, they just one level right now that I'm on where I don't have to find anybody. I have to help the person make it through. Like they have to cross some bridges, so I just got to kind of move shit out of the way by cutting it or. Mm -hmm. Do you get like only a certain amount of turns, or you get unlimited. It's so far, it's been unlimited. You just like a leisure game. It's a leisure game. I haven't seen anything that indicated. Yeah, it's a perfect. Yeah, I game. haven't seen anything that indicated like even points where oh, if I'm just doing it, faster, clicking shit yeah. just to see, because yeah. you know, some of the people on screen, like the character to find certain people that they want you to find are doing th like they're kind of moving in motion. So you have to find the person not only that looks like. Um, like or that physical thing, but they have to be doing the same thing, it, like movement wise. So, so it's like, like if he's chopping wood, he, he has, has to, to be chopping wood. Chopping wood, and he has to be chopping wood in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, like some person's kind of like moving their arms from right to left. You mm -hmm. can't have the person that's doing the exact same thing, just the opposite way. Right. Oh. So they make it. So you kind of have to, like, they give you a picture, and you have to find that picture perfect moment and click it. Right. Well, you don't have to click it at the, yeah, but you have to find them doing the exact same motion, mm -hmm. period. So, gotcha. Um, Neato. Uh, yeah, so I don't, you know, I don't know. It's it'd be interesting to see if they mix it up, but um, it's a great little leisure game. I don't right now. I don't even think I would have spent three ninety nine if I would known this is what it would kind of be like. So you're um, kind of giving it. It's fun, it's a but one, it's yeah, like, it's like a maybe a one ninety nine. I'd be like, all right, fine. But it could get crazy. Could mm -hmm. you be, never know. Um, it's no chameleon run. Cup of coffee. Right. So it's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. But, but is yeah. that it for? Yeah, that's it for that. All right. Well, that's going to be it for Under Your Thumb this week. We're going to take a quick break and come right back with the Drunken News Game Show.